Welcome back. All right, so as we roll through the off season, uh, I am continuing now the collection videos looking at my jersey collection, and we're going to start things off looking at the Columbus portion. It's it's extensive considering it's Columbus. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, although it's more like 11, but I'll discuss that when we get through it. So um, first off, we'll start with the AHL entries, which, you know, Lake Erie slash Cleveland, uh, at any rate, they've got new home and aways for this coming season, but this is what I have uh, currently. I really do like this one, and even though it's a word mark, uh, I am a fan of this. It sort of reminds me of the old Thrasher's colors, which I think is kind of fun. And uh, yeah, I actually I don't mind that word mark at all. It's kind of a fun font. So, rarity for me to say that, but it does happen. Uh, then you get into the jerseys they wore when they came into the NHL. So, this one here... What's interesting is, it's like panels. I think it's more easily seen on the back, but it's like there's panels across. But I've, I've looked, and I mean, it's it's a genuine genuine pro player jersey. Uh, this one here is a coho. So um, it was kind of a miss out of the gate, wasn't it? You, we talk a lot about how teams very often get their, their jersey and their, their colors and everything right out of the gate. Columbus, it, it feels like it was a bit of a miss. Um, I, I do look forward to a day, though, when Stinger's on the front of a jersey. I think as a third, I think just for fun, you could do something with Stinger. Uh, but that being said, uh, the Columbus jerseys were fine initially. Um, but I remember uh, this was one of the last teams I actually had a jersey for was Columbus. Uh, I wasn't really keen on getting Columbus through most of the time they've been around. Uh, but they did have a third jersey I liked quite a bit. And when this third jersey came out, I thought it was one of the best-looking jerseys in the league. Uh, it did not qualify for the top 100 that I just did, but this is a very nice jersey in and of itself. And, of course, it really does look like the reverse retro, doesn't it? But it's it's a very nice one. Uh, I appreciate this one. I think it's good. I was very happy to find this one, again, used on eBay. Uh, Second-hand jerseys, absolutely um, the best way to go right now about getting the old ones because they, they aren't making them anymore. So there's that. Unless Adidas does a throwback to it. Now this one here, this is an AHL jersey. I got this one through Jersey Baron on eBay. Uh, Springfield Falcons. You can see Columbus on the shoulder there. Very much just a Columbus jersey with the Springfield Falcons logo on the front. I don't mind that logo. That's, that's actually kind of a fun one. And yeah, so if we ever go to Springfield... Whether it's the real one or the Simpsons one, whatever we do, I have a Springfield jersey. And, uh, yeah, it's not bad. All right. So that being said, they would rebrand. Uh, they went through rebrands and everything. Now, I don't have the, the Reebok versions in this collection as is. But they would do a Reebok version and then Adidas uh, would change the shoulder patches. So the so shoulder patches were the, the, the caps uh, for the Northern Soldiers and all that. But uh, they went to the cannons on the shoulder, and I think that's a better look. Uh, so this, of course, is the current home and away Adidas. Which, I mean, if they replaced it with the cannon, I'd be okay with that. But I've talked about that before. So, yeah. And I think these both have the button on them. Nope, just the white one has the button on it. So the, the Adidas button, the famous Adidas button. There you go. There you can see it. This one, no button. Uh, but it has the 20-year uh, patch on there. So that's kind of fun. These are both blanks. Uh, I will say this about Columbus jerseys. I think they're better in person than, than they look online or uh, than they look on TV. But I, I can see why they're not a huge seller. Uh, the one thing with Columbus jerseys, they'll move when the team uh, is winning division championships and whatnot. It is amazing how much of a difference winning will make to whether or not your jerseys sell. So the Canon jersey is one of my favorites. And I have the Reebok version. I have the Adidas version. And I also have the uh, the newest Adidas version, which is, of course, your prime green. Can you tell the difference on camera? Nope. Uh, now, this one here has the 20th anniversary logo on it as well, which has the Canon. Uh, and one of, this one here is the prime green jersey. But is there any other difference other than the logo being slightly different? No. So... In most cases, I weeded these out, but I just thought I'd show you. They're virtually identical on camera. Just this one has the 20th anniversary, and this one is the prime green, which has more 3D accents to the logos. But again, on camera, they don't really show up. 
Uh, would I say they're worth it to buy the new one in prime green? Uh, if it's one of your favorite teams, yeah, sure. If it's not, probably not that big a deal. And then you get into the reverse retro. Uh, the red one, I, I kind of called that because it was the one reverse they could do was just to make the blue red and everything. So both the blues and the blue jackets went to a red jersey for the reverse retro, which I thought was entertaining. And then this was the second reverse retro, of course, which has the original logo on one shoulder, the hat I was mentioning before on the other logo, the cap. And uh, I really like these. I do. I think they're they're nice. For a team that's got roughly 20 years of experience in the National Hockey League, uh, they have some nice jerseys. Uh, between the two, I mean, I would pick this one, but this one's more true to the throwback style. This is almost identical to that third jersey that they had. Uh, but again... You know, they, they did a good job, I thought, with the reverse retros. Columbus has a pretty good jersey history, but uh, there you go. You guys are all caught up now with what I have in my collection. So that's Columbus. I figure an easy way is a gateway back into doing these videos. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.